Hello, welcome to this video. It's Leonard here from DetailLeonard.com and in today's video tutorial, we are going to be looking at Binance crypto loans, okay? So what are crypto loans? What do you stand to gain, uh, you know, taking a loan from an exchange like Binance? Um, what are some of the advantages? Why would you want to consider these loans? All of these are things we'll be considering in this video, okay? I'll give you reasons why you need to consider taking a loan instead of selling your crypto asset at loss, okay? So at the end of the day, when I'm demonstrating this, I will equally show you how you can actually um, be borrowing money, okay, borrowing crypto from Binance Exchange with as low as zero fee, all right? Every loan you take from Binance attracts a fee, but when you follow the steps I'm going to show you at the towards the end of this video, then you can actually be getting this loan for free, all right? Now, with the Binance loans, okay, Binance actually provides a wide range of options for supported crypto assets. Um, and that includes the interest rate, the collateral asset, and the maximum loanable limit based on market conditions and internal risk management. Before I go further, I want to give you an illustration, okay, of what um, loans are all about or crypto loans are all about and what you should be expecting and why you should be considering taking a loan instead of um, actually um, selling your crypto at loss, okay? Let's assume that you are having some BNB, okay? BNB token, and then you have about a thousand of this BNB token, okay? And then you bought this BNB token at 400 each, all right? You bought it at $400 each, okay? And this 1,000 BNB tokens that you have is part of your long-term crypto plans, okay? Um, let's say you bought at 400 and then you want to sell this loan um, and you want to sell this uh, 1,000 cryptos when the price get to $1,000 each, all right? So when the price get to $1,000 each, that is when you want to sell this. And then all of a sudden, the price dropped from 400 to 360 okay this is like a 10 percent drop from what you bought it all right and majority of the people um, most especially this happens this is very common with you know newbies who come into the crypto space when it drops like this um you hear things like at all at all nine but so they want to sell and get back the 360 instead of waiting to lose everything entirely all right with this kind of thing you don't make um profit from the crypto market all right and that is when the loan now comes in okay maybe you needed the money urgently that is why you want to sell at loss maybe um you need the money to trade or to continue to you know buy other assets that you've seen opportunity in that is why you want to sell instead of selling it the best thing to consider is to go um, and take loan with this 1000 BNB that you've gotten, all right? So you don't just sell at loss while waiting for the price to hit your target, all right? Okay, so this is one of the advantage of taking loans. It helps you to preserve um, the tokens you have instead of selling them at loss and then getting other money to be able to, you know, take care of your needs at the meantime. And at the end of the day, you can return the loans borrowed and have access to all of your crypto assets you are using as collateral all right so some of the advantages we should be looking at um, advantages of binance crypto loans include number one is loans staking and when we talk about loan staking what it simply does is that um, it is a feature on the binance exchange actually that allows users to stake their asset as collateral to reduce interest all right so when you are using, for instance, you are using your 1000 BNB as collateral, you don't just use it as collateral. Binance can actually stake that for you while you are earning interest from it. And the interest you are earning uh, from the collateral that you're using, you know, borrowing money can actually cover up for, you know, the interest that you have to pay depending on the term of the loan all right so that is one um, advantage that you need to why you need to use the binance um, uh, loan okay and then um as i said earlier profit generated from this take collateral as used to reduce your daily interest to as low as zero <laughs> to as low as what zero percent so at the end of the day you borrow that money and whatever interest you make from the borrowed money is all yours and then when you return the borrowed money you still have access to all of your crypto and by then maybe when you are sticking it it would have made a lot of money from you okay another thing you need to look at is that the binance loans that uh, the terms for the binance loans are actually uh, very flexible all right 
one, another, one good thing with the Binance loan is that it is flexible, all right? And because it is flexible, what you, if, one of the flexibility there is that if you borrow um, money from Binance and let's say the term is 180 days, if you decide to return that money you borrow before the 180 day lapses, um, there are no penalties for that, okay? You can return it and then Binance calculate whatever you're returning with the interest and at the end of the day, you get back your collateral. So another advantage we should be looking at is the for those who are holding BNB on the Binance exchange, all right? So Binance is saying that BNB um, holdings in crypto loans now can towards the um, calculation of towards the calculation of the daily BNB balance, all right? So there is an article that Binance wrote on this. I will share that with you and I will probably leave a link in the video description so that you can actually go take a look at it and so on, all right? So before borrowing from Binance loan, there are things you should consider, okay? And one of that thing is that you need to understand the um, VIP tie, all right? So what did I mean by this is when you are a, a VIP user, okay? If you are a higher VIP level, you will enjoy low interest rate. Okay, um, when you go to your account on your Binance, okay, and then you see where you have to verify when you go to the profile, you see where it says VIP 0, VIP 1, whatever VIP level you are, if you are on a higher VIP level, okay, you get um, to pay lower interest if you should pay any interest at all, okay. And then one thing I want to state here is that you must research on, you know, your asset before borrowing and to help you do that. I probably have a link to an article, a frequent asked questions, okay, that Binance has put together. Everything you need to know about crypto loans, about borrowing money from Binance, all of them have been put together, okay, and I'm going to share that with you now. All right, so I will probably leave a link to this um, um, page on the description, okay. You can go ahead and check out all of the frequent asked questions, okay. Who can borrow on the Binance loan? Um, what crypto can I borrow on the Binance loan? All of that, all of the questions are answered here. What um, crypto can I use as collateral? Okay, all of them are stated here. How long are the loan terms? Okay, and for the term of the loans, they have seven days, they have 14 days, they have um, 30 days, 90 days, and then 180 days. All right, so those are the terms they have. Okay, I will leave a link to this um, page where you can actually go and look at all of these uh, frequent asked questions and get a better understanding of what Binance crypto loans are all about. But majorly, um, the whole thing here is that when you have a crypto asset and the crypto asset you have, if it is BTC, if it is Ethereum, if it is BNB and it is part of your long term investment, and then maybe you need some money to take care of issues right now or to trade uh, uh, and the rest, then what you should be considering is give that loan as collateral, okay? give that asset okay give that crypto asset as collateral and then take a loan from binance and use that money to do whatever you want to do and at the end of the day you return the loan and the beautiful thing is that while you are taking this borrowed money all right your coins like your bnb and the rest you're using can be staked and at the end of the day you're earning interest from it all right so now how do you borrow from binance okay um, in order to be able to borrow from Binance, all right, if you don't have a, 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 an account with Binance already, there's a link in the video description to sign up for an account, okay? So if you, if once you log into your account, all right, once you log into your account, the next thing you want to do is to go over over finance, all right, where we have finance here, and then you see where it says crypto loans, okay? So you click on the crypto loans. Now, when you cl click on the crypto loans, it brings you to this page, all right? So this is where it brings you and this is where you are going to do all of the borrowing, okay? So um, if I scroll down here where it says, I want to borrow, you select the asset you want to borrow. If it is BUSD, if it is USDT, if it is USDC, all of these tokens are tokens that are supported on the crypto loan page on the Binance, okay? That you can borrow from, okay? You select. So in this case, I'll just go with the BUSD, all right? And what do you want to use as collateral? If you have BNB, if you have... Um, um, BTC, if you have cake, if you have okay. Now, the beautiful thing here is that um, with this, you can see um, for cake, if you have cake, you see that staking is enabled, okay. If you have the CTSI, staking is equally enabled. If you have DOT, staking is an enabled, okay. If you have KSM, staking is enabled. You see all of them, NDX, so near 
all of these tokens these are the ones you can borrow you can use as collateral and equally be staking them as well remember the illustration i gave initially where you can stake and be earning interest okay so if the more you scroll down these are all the supported crypto assets here all right and then you can be um doing any of this for instance if i have some near i can actually start staking this all right i go ahead and select it all right so your collateral will be staked to reduce interest rate all right that is what if i'm going to stake near to borrow this okay and then the next thing you want to do is to put in the amount okay we are going to borrow let's say we want to borrow five thousand busd okay to borrow 5000 BUSD means that we need about uh, 762 or 63 um, near token all right we're going to need about um, 762 near tokens right and we will now select after that we're going to select the terms at which we want to borrow okay for the near you see that the 90 days is um, not um, highlighted and then what it is is not highlighted it means that we can only go from seven days to 30 days all right so you can go ahead and choose whatever you want so i'll go with the 30 days which is the highest here now this is a summary of all that you should be expecting from here okay so after inputting the price what you want to borrow it means that you need about this okay 764 all right to be able to take this loan all right and this will be staked for us and we can be earning interest from it then you can go ahead and choose the term from seven days to actually 30 days um for this particular token we cannot go up to 180 days okay so if i change this to let's say bnb for instance if i change it to bnb okay to borrow 5000 we need about 19 to 20 of um, bnb all right and the current price of bnb if i come back to uh, my home page here the current price of bnb bnb right now is trading as 388 okay and then um we can be liquidated we are going to be liquidated at um 303 dollars um, okay when the price gets to that okay so if i go ahead and choose the term as 180 days it means that in 180 days um, this is what I'm going to be paying per hour. Okay, this is the hourly interest, hourly or daily interest rate. Okay, this is what I'm going to be paying every day, and this is what I'll be paying every hour. All right, as interest. And at the end of the 180 days, I'm going to pay um 225 as uh, the interest for this. Okay, and if within these two 180 days the price of bnb doesn't get down to 303 it means that my account will be safe and i can repay this loan and have access to all of my tokens that i'm actually um, using as collateral okay with uh, the binance um, crypto loan all right so one thing you need to pay attention to is the liquidation price you must always pay attention to the um, price of the asset you are using as collateral okay the movement all right when you have this in mind you always make sure that you pay back your loan with uh, before this actually hits uh, the liquidation price okay so one, how the, the best way i use the crypto loan is that i can get my um, asset which i am buying which is part of my long-term investment i give it to binance um, as collateral and then get usdt or busd and i can use this to trade okay you can imagine if you are making a dollar let's say you are trading features you are trading even if it is sport or margins okay and then you are making two dollars three dollars every day in 180 days okay at the end of the day you would have made enough money to you know return this which if i'm trading features with five thousand dollars definitely i'll be making more than you know this amount in a day or more all right so you can make this money and then at the end of the day you return the money borrowed and then you get back your asset that you use as collateral all right so basically that is it about um binance um crypto loans and how you can go about it it is one of the good things that you can do instead of selling your crypto asset at loss you can always use it as collateral to collect some money go ahead and trade some crypto and you know when you make profit you come back and return the borrowed money and then get back your your asset okay so basically that is it for this video and i'll leave link to all of the references i made on the binance okay binance crypto loans now can towards the calculation of the daily bnb balance i will equally leave a link to this page 
and then to the frequent ask question i will leave a link to this page as well so once again if you are new to this channel consider subscribing hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified each time videos like this are published and if you like this video do give it a thumbs up okay if you have any challenge if there is anything that i didn't mention in this video you are you know you want to ask off you can always use the comment section and if you want to learn more about crypto trading you want to join our daily zoom meetings where you get to interact with me one-on-one -on -one, then link to join the telegram group will equally be in the video description all right so that is it for this video and i'll see you guys in the next video